This lesson shows you how to calculate permutations. A permutation is an arrangement or listing of objects when the order matters. For example, a student is scheduling their first three classes. Their choices are math, science, and history. You can use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of different ways this can be done. There are three choices for the first class. There are two choices remaining for the second class, and one choice remaining for the third class. So there are a total of six arrangements or permutations for the three classes. For another example, an ice cream shop has 31 different flavors. If you want to buy a three scoop cone, there are 31 choices for the first scoop, 30 for the second, and 29 for the third, which gives a total of 26,970 permutations. In general, the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time is given by this formula, where n minus 1 is the next smaller number after n. n minus 2 is the second smallest number, and so on, for r number of factors. For example, the number of permutations of 31 things taken three at a time is 31 times 30 times 29. Permutations can be used to calculate probabilities. Suppose you have an MP3 player like one of these iPods, and your playlist has 10 songs. To find the different ways the first three songs could play, find the permutations of ten things taken three at a time. There are a total of 720. Then the probability that your first three songs play in that order is one chance in 720, or about one-tenth of one percent. For a final example, suppose you attend a swimming event with eight swimmers. What is the probability that Yumi will finish first and Paquita second? To find the number of ways eight swimmers can finish first and second, find the permutations of eight things taken two at a time, which is 56. Then the probability of Yumi finishing first and Paquita second is one chance in 56. This lesson showed you how to calculate permutations. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.